guys, it's Celia and I'm back with another video. So today I'll be trying and reviewing the brand Strands of Faith. This is a faith-based brand. They are a black-owned brand and I've been wanting to try them for a minute. So you guys are going to see how they worked on my hair. Um, my hair was in twists just because I had pre-pooed and I've really been liking pre-pooing. I really feel like it helps cut down the time. Um... You know it takes for me to wash and condition since my hair is already detangled so if you don't pre-poo definitely try it out but um after i wet my first section of hair i started with the strands of faith shampoo bar now this is made with kale and clay baobab and amla it's supposed to be non-stripping and moisturizing um all of the products are free of like sulfates parabens silicones mineral oil and it's all all of the products are also coconut oil free so i know some people have like allergies so i thought that was really cool now um i didn't initially read the directions it does recommend to like cut off a piece of the bar of soap um just so that you can actually have it last a bit longer but you know it's cool i just used the whole bar of soap and um rubbed it all over my section of hair and y'all this like instantly had a really good lather it also felt super duper moisturizing putting it on um as far as the smell, it honestly just smelled like a bar of soap. So I don't know, I didn't hate it, but I wasn't like in love with it. But overall, just initially putting this onto my hair, I really, really liked it. So once I felt like I applied enough, I just worked it on in, um, made sure, of course, to rub my scalp and all that, um, and just really focus on cleaning my hair. So once I started to rinse out my hair, um, it had this like really squeaky clean feeling which I liked but my hair was not stripped so it definitely does what it claims. Um, it's non-stripping but cleansing so I really did like this shampoo bar. I don't think I've ever used a shampoo bar so I really like the idea of it. It has a great lather and yeah it gets the job done. So the next product I use is the Intense Deep Conditioning Treatment. This is made with Baobab, Kukui, and Babasu oil. Um, and it's made to, or meant to smooth, soften, and strengthen your hair. Um, all the products you'll see from here and on smell the exact same. And they smell so good, you guys. It's like this nice, clean, fresh smell. I love it. But um, yeah. The treatment was pretty lightweight, um, which I don't know, I feel like with treatments, I'm so used to them being thicker that I was a little bit shocked, but it's okay because when I put it onto my hair, it felt really, really good and softening. I didn't really focus too much on detangling because like I said, I pre-pooed, so my hair was already detangled. I just kind of focused on, you know, applying the product and making sure my hair was moisturized and it definitely did its thing. It was softening. Um, my curls really just soaked it up and um yeah i enjoyed it so i didn't leave it on too long i just left it on while i you know showered and cleaned myself whatever and then when i rinsed it off i did really like how my hair was feeling it was just nice and soft so i did really enjoy this wash day um these two products were really really good So this was my hair fresh out of my microfiber towel just looking and feeling good um of course you guys know i gotta go in with my oil and oil my scalp make sure my scalp isn't dry and itchy all that stuff and then i just massage it on in and i'll put down below all the products and stuff that i use um so then you know i section my hair spray my section with water um and this is my water and a low mixture and then detangle and then i'm ready to finally 
Annalie style. So I first started with the leave-in conditioner and I feel like all leave-in conditioners are really just that first product that you typically would use to like prep your hair before you use like your styler. So um, this was lightweight. I find I found that all of the products were very lightweight and since this um, brand is catered to type 4 hair, um, I don't know, I just kind of expected it to be a lot thicker. Um, and I wasn't sure like how the products would really like hold up on my hair But after using the leave-in conditioner, you can just see that my curls really really liked it um, And curled up really nicely just you know with it being this really light leave-in So I did really love the leave-in and then of course I had to go in with my styler Which was the twisting butter Now the twisting butter, this is obviously supposed to be super good for defined twist outs. Um, I feel like I've been doing a lot of twist outs, so I actually decided to do a braid out. But anyways, um, you'll just see in a second how my curls reacted after I added this. It was super softening, even though it was very light. Um, and my curls really seemed to, you know, soak it up and like it. So I just continued on with my style. Um, and like I said, I did a braid out. Now, the only thing I was like a little worried about even though my hair felt nice and soft and um, I really felt like this was gonna be a good braid out is the fact that on the container it does say that this twisting butter has soft to little hold so I just kind of went into you know styling expecting to have like you know frizzy fluffy type of results um, but you guys will see once I braid all this up and take it down, you know what the results looks like. So I believe I had like 10 braids in total, four on the top and six in the back. So this is the next day after I let it completely air dry. Y'all know I have to add some oil, just help with shine, help with frizz, all that good stuff. And then I start taking down my braids. Um, and y'all, I feel like the only thing that I hate about braid outs is it takes forever for me to unravel them. But yeah. Um, the definition I got when I unraveled was really good. Like my hair had this really nice shine. It was super soft. Um, the smell, like y'all, this the scent of these products lingers. And I don't know, maybe you guys might not like it, but I love, I don't know, I just love when the smell sticks and like has your hair smelling good. But anyways, um, yeah, so this is my hair completely unraveled. And now like the big test was separating. I wish I wasn't in a rush this day so I could actually show you more of what my definition looked like before I style but here's like a quick little glance it looked pretty good um but I just personally there wasn't anything wrong with my hair I just wanted to kind of jazz it up um I feel like when I do my twist outs and braid outs like you know, I don't really style it. So um, since I was going out, I decided to do a half up, half down look that I did off camera, you know, did my gel and all that. So you guys will see the final look right now. And I was in love with my hair, you guys. This came out so good. I loved the smell. Um, I loved the softness of my hair, the fullness, the fluffiness. And although the twisting butter says it gives little to no hold. I do feel like they should change it to like at least medium hold because this looks really good to me. I still see my definition. Um, it is a bit more fluffy, but there's definition in there. So um, 
overall i really enjoyed these products um i'm glad i tried them i would highly recommend you guys to try them out support a black owned woman owned um mommy owned business and yeah so let me know what you guys think of this braid out and this look don't forget to like comment share subscribe and i'll see you in my next video